As Peter said, I'm Senator Catherine Young, and I am so proud to sponsor this legislation because I believe with all my heart it will save children's lives across the state. Our children are most precious to us, and every day parents put their kids on the, on the school bus trusting that their child will be safe. It's every parent's nightmare to have their child injured or even killed, and we have had incidents in New York State, unfortunately, where that has happened. But I want to thank their school bus drivers from all over the state here this morning. I want to thank you for your commitment because you work so hard to keep our children safe. I was speaking to some of you before we began, and the passion that you have truly is amazing because I can tell you love your jobs and you love the children. And I was talking to Ellen Driscoll from Bethlehem Central School District. There she is, she's waving. But I was speaking to Ellen earlier, and she shared with me just last week when she was driving, in one day, she had her school bus passed while it was stopped seven times in just one day. That is truly alarming. And that's why this legislation is so key and so vital and so much needed here in New York State because we need to make sure that we are doing everything that we can, that are, we are utilizing technology in the best way. And we have new technology now where we can record those drivers who illegally pass a stop school bus. The school bus drivers tell me that they are so busy watching the children and watching the child who is crossing the road, that if a car passes, it's very difficult to come up with the license plate. It's very difficult to come up with a description of the car because, of course, their hearts are in their throats. They just want to make sure that the child is okay. So there are several um, provisions of this bill that I would like to share with you, um, and it does many things. It allows school districts and school bus contractors to install stop arm cameras to catch motorists who illegally pass school buses who are picking up or discharging students. The proposed legislation includes the following provisions. It retains the current fine structure for violations that are witnessed by a police officer. And right now, that's the main way that we are able to catch people who pass the stop school buses. It also establishes a minimum fine of between $250 and $400 with no points for a first violation when the violation is based on the camera-based evidence with increasing penalties for repeat offenders. It requires suspension of the license of a motorist who has been convicted multiple times of violating Section 1174. It makes it a crime of aggravated assault when a motorist injures another individual as a result of illegally passing a stopped school bus. It makes it a crime um, of criminally negligent homicide, a Class E felony, when a motorist takes the life of another individual as a result of illegally passing a stopped school bus, an assault in the third degree, also a Class E felony, if injury to another person is caused. It establishes a school bus safety education program fund derived from fines collected from violations of the law. And uh, these are all provisions that I believe uh, will help because this isn't just about catching those who pass the stop school buses. It's also about public education and letting the public know how important this issue actually is. And as I said, unfortunately and tragically, we have had incidents in New York State uh, that have resulted in even fatalities. For example, on May 21st, 2004, Mallory Eddy from Stockbridge Fa uh, Valley S um, Central School District was struck by a motorist who passed her bus on the shoulder. She was struck as she stepped off the bus and killed at the scene in front of her family's house. The driver was not fined for illegal passing or convicted for her death. On April 20th, 2009, 14 year old student in New Hartford Central School District in Oneida County was struck by a driver of a minivan as he got off the school bus in the mid afternoon. He was in critical condition for several days and thankfully he survived. Just in February of this year, school bus was stopped when a logging truck failed to stop 
and passed the school bus on the right side, narrowly missing the child who was getting off the bus. The driver held the child back, and the logging truck was charged only with failure to yield. And also in February this year, five-year-old boy in East Ramapo School District was struck by a car that passed his bus at 8.30 in the morning as he was going to school. The lights on the bus were flashing. He thankfully was treated for minor injuries and released from the hospital. Those are just a few of what has happened right here in New York State. So I want to thank everyone for their support of this vital legislation. I am going to work as hard as I can to get it passed in the Senate. We are looking for assembly sponsors. We are very hopeful that Governor Cuomo will support this common sense initiative. And so again, I thank you very much um, because by working together, we will save children's lives.